Hey yo, it's Brian here. Today, talking about the San Francisco 49ers. You guys know what is up tonight. Monday Night Football, the second one of our season. We beat the Los Angeles Rams a few weeks ago in that one. This one, we're hoping for another win. This time in Mexico City. It's supposed to be in Arizona, technically, for the home crowd, but I think it's going to be a lot of 49er fans there. Would not be surprised. I saw an article saying that there might be an 82% 49er fan base in that stadium, so that's really cool right there. I hope a lot of 49er fans show up to that one because, hey, we're the best fans, right? We travel everywhere, and we just show up anywhere, anyway, anytime, especially in road games. But anyways, talking about this game, I'm excited for this one. I hope you guys are as well. I'm liking the 49ers right now. The past few weeks, they played really, really well for the most part, and with the addition of Christian McCaffrey, I think we all know what he's about. Defensively, playing lights out for the most part, minus the Kansas City game, but I'm just feeling really good about this matchup in particular. There are some things for the Arizona Cardinals. They do have some injuries to report in this one. Kyler Murray will not be playing this matchup. It will instead be Colt McCoy, which actually, to be honest with you, I'm actually more worried that Colt is starting this game than Kyler Murray because Colt last year, even without DeAndre Hopkins, let, let that mind you, they won the game. They blew us out last year. And we started the season three and five. That was a big low light loss right there. And I'm a little bit worried for this one. And I know I shouldn't because I think the team is much healthier than they were in 2021. But at the same time, it's just, I don't know, Colt, I think he has a better grasp of the offense. And to be honest with you, pocket passer, I mean, I think that really bodes well for them more than college, to be honest with you. And plus, Kyle is probably thinking about Call of Duty more than the actual game, right? He'd probably be thinking about what he wants to do in multiplayer mode, ranked match, Warzone, whatever that's called in Call of Duty now. I haven't played in a long, long time, so if I don't know my Call of Duty references, then I apologize. But still, he'd probably worry about that game more than the actual football game. So I'm, I'm assuming Colt McCoy has been studying every time for football, and he's going to play pretty well in this game, in my opinion. Other news, DeAndre Hopkins, he should be playing this matchup, so that's going to be a big danger right there. Number one receivers, they do have the better of us quite recently, I think defensive back is still a little bit of a problem, but it's not as terrible as past years, especially in 2020 and 2021. Yeah, but other than that, I'm feeling I'm feeling confident in this one. I think the running game, they're going to just have to keep sticking with it. I've got to give credit to Kyle Shanahan for keep sticking to it, even though they were down against the Chargers last week on Sunday night. So, you know, I expect them to run the ball quite a bit. A lot of people should be coming back in this one. I think the only guy out that I know is Eric Armstead which is unfortunate because, I, to be honest with you, I don't even know the last time he played for the 49ers this year. Was it maybe week one, week two? He's just a, pretty much a no-show for the past couple of weeks. I know he's dealing with injuries, but at the same time, I don't know what's go, what's up with him. So hopefully everything's all right with him, and he can come back as soon as possible because we could always use help on the defensive line, and that's a good thing right there. So, yep, that's pretty much it. I'm excited for this matchup. M Monday night football. It's always nice to play a Monday night game. I'll watch some of the game. I can't watch all of it, so I'll have a video out tomorrow on what happened in this matchup. I have to go to work again at 2 a.m. Yes, I know, 2 a.m. in the early morning. People say I should just man up and watch the game and just go to sleep for like an hour. I don't know if I can do that. It's not really good for my health. I know I'm young right now, 26 right now, but still, it's not good long term if you keep doing that. But I'll try to watch the game as much as I can. Still, I'm going to be following it. Definitely going to be seeing what's happening when I wake up around 1 something in the morning. So, yep, that's pretty much it, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the game. I'll try to enjoy myself as much as possible. Let's get a win San Francisco. Let's make it, what, four in a row, three in a row? I think three in a row in this one because we beat the Rams, then the Chargers now. The Cardinals. This this should be a winnable game in my opinion. I know it's a division matchup. Anything can happen in, a, in an NFC West matchup. But still, I mean, I think everyone can agree, even Cardinal fan can agree that we have the better roster, but it's, it all depends on coaching and execution. That's the thing I worry about. Every week, I always have to juggle on which 49er team is going to show up. Is it the one against the Rams or the one against like the Falcons? I want the one that shows up like the Rams games this past year, not the one against the Falcons. That was absolutely terrible. And the one against the Chiefs, if you want to include that as well. But the Chiefs are actually pretty good. Atlanta's pretty mediocre, in my opinion. And we should have won that game, to be honest with you. But anyways, enough ranting right there. I'm uh, I'm going to end the video right here. And please let me know what you guys think. Final predictions for this one. And we'll see what happens. And also, do you think the Cardinals are more dangerous with Kyle Murray or Colt McCoy? I'll tell you what you guys say in the comments below. I'll catch you guys up tomorrow. Bye, guys. Love y'all. Enjoy the game. And hope to see a 49er win. Good luck to the 49er co players, coaches, everybody involved. Let's get this win in Mexico City.